What is up, guys? TW Booty Hunter here with another video. And I know I haven't really been promoting the videos like lately. I've been putting them out. Um, I've put out a recent fanboy salt video of the Vince McMahon selling his stock or a portion, small portion of his stock. Um, you know, go ahead and check that out if you're a fan of the fanboy salt videos and you're a fan of wrestling and stuff like that. Feel free to check that video out. But, yeah, I've been putting out content, but I haven't really been promoting it. Simply really due to the simple fact of I lost my phone. Like, literally, my phone is gone. I, I checked uh, when I went to the store. I checked when, you know, I, like the cab I took. Yeah, I, checked, I checked everything, dude. Like, that phone is freaking gone. And, I mean, I don't want to get really into the situation um of like how or why but yeah because it's really stupid and even just probably talking about it would piss me off but yeah point is almost all my stuff was on there at least in terms of like uh the original schedule of videos i had planned and future video ideas and but luckily it was nothing too like confidential but still it's like now i have to really start back from square one but eh, i guess that's all right uh nevertheless um yeah so we're gonna basically be talking about slipknot recent firing of jay weinberg bro literally another slipknot member gone i mean this time it's not an original slipknot member but it was someone who had joined Around around the time they made they were working on the great out al uh the gray album. So I mean the gray chapter. Uh but yeah, Jay Weinberg, bro, completely literally fired from Slipknot. He didn't quit, he was fired. And then the crazy thing about this is the brother didn't even know he was fired. He didn't even know he was gonna be fired. It's like uh, apparently I guess maybe he didn't know until maybe he read on the news or whatever. But it's crazy, man. It's like, honestly, this really does kind of prove a lot of things that I was, I was saying about Slipknot in my pros and cons video that I made on them on, also on the channel if you want to check that out. Yeah, it really does kind of, uh, again, it, it really confirms a lot of what I had to say uh, on that video. And I hate that. I'm even right on that because because it's like here's the thing whenever I sort of like predict these things whenever I talk about these things I almost I almost never want them to be true you know it's like I don't like the idea that Slipknot you know behind the scenes or complete scumbags um, or anything like that you know I, I I hate that I I don't like to be right about that but unfortunately it's reality in before I even talk any more about it, let's just read this article in Blabbermouth. Jay Weinberg says he was heartbroken and blindsided by Slipknot's decision to fire him. Jay, we Jay Weinberg says that he was heartbroken and blindsided by Slipknot's decision to fire him after a 10-year run with the band. Wow, 10 years? Jeez, I didn't realize it was really that long. But nevertheless, uh, on November 5th, Slipknot released a statement via social media in which it had said, uh, decided to make a creative decision to part ways with Jay. The drummer played his final show of Slipknot on November 3rd at Hell in Heaven Festival in Toluca, Mexico. Now, earlier today, well, basically this was like yesterday at the time of this article, well, not yesterday, but Saturday at the time of this article, uh, Jay broke his silence regarding his exit from Slipknot, writing on social media. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to pay attention to my wide-eyed 10-year-old self falling head over heels with a new and exciting sound and culture and tell him about the last 10 years. Even on the hardest days, I'd like to think he'd be stoked about the adventure that was in store for him. I was heartbroken and blindsided to receive the phone call that I did in the morning of November 5th, the news of which most of you learned shortly after 
However, I've been overwhelmed and truly grateful for the outpouring of love and support I've received from this incredible community in I consider to be my creative and artistic home. This is not the ending to the journey I dreamt of and committed myself to seeing through, not by a long shot, but despite the confusion and sadness, there is something provided in an equal amount of comfort for many... Ah. For many of you reading this, 10 years ago, we weren't acquainted. We weren't yet acquainted, and now we are. For that, I'm thankful in ways I'll never be able to fully express. I love playing the drums. I've always loved playing the drums. I'll always have a passion for music, art, and creative expression. Nothing will ever change that. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but I look forward to creating a passionate and heartfelt music yeah, heartfelt music that we enjoy playing together. Until then, please know that it has been a joy of a lifetime to spend the last 10 years with you and sharing in our love for the special corner of the music and art world. This isn't the end, and I'm thrilled to discover what the future has in store for me. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, that was basically a statement, you know, from... Um, you know, from Jay and all that stuff like that. And it's like the rest of this article. It, it mentions like um, basically Slipknot thanking Jay for his dedication uh, for the past 10 years. No one can ever replace Joey Jordison. That's a thing I got to really kind of scratch my head with. Like, why even say that? Why even say that? It's like, I don't even think that that was what the guy intended to come in and do. It's like, to say, to to really say that, it just seems like a slap in the face. It, it really does. It's like, you you know this already. You knew this already. It's like, I just don't get it. Like, I, it seems so backhanded. And it's like, oh, now, uh, like, no one will be able to f place Joey Jordison sound. Hey, why did you fire the guy before his death in the first place? I mean, other than the sickness, I mean, it's like, why did, I don't know. Like, why did things end the way they did with Joey? It's like, I, I just find it real scummy, dude. And now they're trying to, oh, my God. This really just reeks of pure, pure, pure scumminess all around. It really does. It, it's not cool and then jay he came in tried to do the best he could you know with this opportunity he had and then it's just fired out of nowhere like creative differences oh freaking please who the hell buys that i don't even think the most die hard slipknot fan buys that load of malarkey it is absolute crap dude get the fuck out of here with all that but yeah it's like come on man dude Oh, my goodness. It's like, I really hate that. It's like, okay. So, oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, so uh, they, they they split with Joey uh, on uh, tw yeah on 2013, uh, and then Jay and that uh, V-Man dude came in around 2014. Okay, so that was the 10 years, because I was like, 10 years? I I thought it was like a few years ago for some reason. I was like, damn, I didn't even know that. Uh, but um, nevertheless, and then Joey uh, died in 20, uh, 2020. Really? 2021. I don't know why I thought it was so much later than that. But yeah, it's just I don't I don't like just how they've done this. Um, you know, like I don't I don't like just how they've really done this uh, with jay and stuff like that and it's like mind you even though i was really it was really hard for me to get into slipknot's material after iowa um not so much because i didn't really in like i like oh you're afraid of change it's like no i just didn't like any of the i didn't really like much of the new album i didn't like much of the albums after iowa i like some songs after Iowa, but I didn't really, but there weren't really like full fledged albums that I could say I really liked by the band. Um, yeah, that's really just it. And, and then the way that things went down with Joey and now just like the awful way that they decided to go about firing Jay and just, 
other members uh, since then. Everything that's happened with Chris Fine, the th- what happened with Craig, Craig of all people. It's like, it's honestly going to get to the point, I think, where it's going to wind up being just a clown that's the only original member. Because it's like, technically, Corey Taylor, he, he's the most notable singer, but he's not technically an original member. He's not one of the forming members. Really, um, it, it's people like, let me see who's in a band. Who's who's the original that's still in the band now? It's Clown, it's Mick. Um, Clown, Mick. Sid, maybe? I don't even think Sid was, like, an original forming member. Yeah, like, Clown and Mick and shit. Yeah, because Jim, Jim Root wasn't an original mem- forming member either. I'd be like... Yeah, it's really getting to the point where now it's I, 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 now it's just clown, clown and Mick. It's like everybody else are pretty much just hired guns. That's really what it's become at this point, and I, I think that really actually, uh, I don't know, that's saying a lot. But yeah, man, it, it's like it really, it's really insane. Like just how things are going with Slipknot. It's not a band anymore. It's no longer a band. At this point, it, it like I said before, it, it's just a business. I think the very band aspect um, of Slipknot, the very genuine aspect of Slipknot, the Slipknot, that when you looked at all those nine guys uh, back then seemed like a family, even if it was a rather dysfunctional family, but they seemed like a family, that part honestly died when um when like joey and paul were no longer in the group seriously i i think that like it died along that part of slipknot died with those two and yeah it's just like it truly has not been the same since the album since then haven't really been the same They've always just felt more phoned in than anything else. I mean, even the albums after Iowa that still had Paul and Joey at least still felt genuine. I wasn't really into them, but they still felt like genuine Slipknot albums. Around the time where it's like, no more Paul, no more Joey, that was it. Slipknot Slipknot was pretty much dead at that point. Um, There was like... Yeah, like, it literally, at that point, Slipknot, as, like, the band, was just over. And Slipknot, the business, that's what started to really happen more than anything else. I mean, the whole thing, you know, with the you know, with the maggots and all that, it, it's not as sincere. It, it just doesn't feel sincere whatsoever. And, like I said before... It's now gotten to the point where it's just the Joey and Clown show, or maybe more specifically, the Clown show, because, uh, like I said before, Joey, uh, not Joey, uh, Corey wasn't, was never like an original member. He wasn't an original forming member. He's one of the most notable singers, but not an original. Yeah, Corey is really more just, he's more like kind of the star of the group than anything else. I I think that's one of the reasons he's still around because he's a great singer. Honestly, I hate to say this, but I think Slipknot would have never truly got as big as they did if they didn't have Corey as the front man. I think that's just the actual fact. Like, it's not that they wouldn't have been as good. They would still be as good. They just wouldn't be as well known because I think along, like, with Slipknot just how crazy the music is but then with Corey's like Corey as a front man Corey yeah Corey as the front man the really kind of balanced it out and really made it palatable to lots of metalheads and uh it didn't wind up just being this like niche strange kind of group like mushroom head kind of wound it up becoming um yeah it's like I think that's really ultimately what that is like Corey Taylor is the star of like Corey Taylor is the star of that group. So I think that's what 
his significant role that he plays there is. And Clown is just like the guy that's in charge of everything. You know, like, I I, th- I think he probably handles more of the behind-the-scenes shit and all that. And I think it's yeah, – I, th- I think at this point it's going to wind up being – it's going to get to a point where it's like it's going to be Clown. It, it, it It's just going to be Clown and, like, others. Yeah, it's just going to be Clown and others. I, I, I don't – there's probably going to be a point where Mick's not in the band anymore. Uh, Jim's not in a band anymore. Uh, Sid's not in a band anymore. Um, I, I, like, I guess Corey will still be in the band. Corey, Corey might, Corey and Clown might be the only two like mainline orig- like mainline members that are still in the band at some because it's like, yeah, dude, I really just don't. I everyone else is just hired guns. That's really what it is. It, they are literally just hired guns, and they're treated as more employees rather than bandmates. I that's just what I see from my outside view. Yeah, dude, and nothing about that shit feels genuine. It's, and and then especially with the way that they fired Jay unceremoniously really confirms that for me. It it really honestly does. Um, but yeah, now there's talk of like drummers being. Uh, that are going to be the next replacements for uh, Jay. They're like, people are mainly talking about some dude. God, I forgot his name, but he used to be like a drummer of um, Dream Theater right before like Mike Portnoy recently came back. Um, and, and then, oh God, there's also some speculation, which if true, I'm not going to lie is going to come off really scummy and it's going to come off as one of the biggest signs of nepotism that I have ever seen in my whole life. But the other drummer that is speculated is Clown's son um, that is in the band uh, that's in the band with Corey's son. It's like... I. That's it's gonna look bad. It, it's gonna look real, real fucking bad. Uh, you fire Jay in the sake of like putting your own son in a bit. I I don't know, something like that. It, it it's it's not gonna be a good look. But then again, when it comes to Slipknot nowadays, I, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest bit. But. Nevertheless, uh, before I go, I really kind of want to see what some of these comments are like. Let's see some of these comments. It's really, it was really hard in the beginning after accepting Jay, uh, accepting Jay after Joey died. I was at his first show and he killed it. He did a great job on the gray chapter in the albums that have been released since then. And after Joey died, I was happy that at least someone, uh, and that at least Slipknot found someone as awesome as Jay to hit the skins. I love Slipknot, but unfortunately, this is another strike against him in my book. I'm looking forward to whatever Jay does next. Um, as for Slipknot, surprise me, because lately I haven't expected much. That's really sad to say. It, 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 like, it, it's like, because, like, that's not sad to say, but, like, sad to see. It, it's, like, more like diehard Slipknot fans, they're starting to really kind of, they're, they're starting to turn on this band. They're, they're starting to really see this band for what I truly see them as. It, and, it, and it sucks, man. It really actually does suck. But Slipknot have brought this kind of attention on themselves based on the things that they've been doing. It, it, it's, ugh. And it, and it all started from the way that, the way that they did Joey. Honestly, it, it, it honest to God did the way that they did Joey. And that, I, that's where I believe it started from. I am losing so much respect for this band. I wasn't lying about someone going. Uh, Chris wasn't lying about something going on with this band. I can't read today. I'm like skipping words. I wonder if I have dyslexia. <laughs> nah, but uh, what was the reason for firing Jay? Literally one of the best drummers in the world. That pissed me off. See? Lord Almighty, it's not good, man. It's not good. He, and then here's another one. He's lucky to be done with that dumpster fire. 
Looks like they did this to replace some of Clown Son. Oh, boy. I fucking... I literally just... Dude. People are speculating that shit, man. I, I'm, I'm afraid that's going to actually be a possibility. Dude, that ain't good. And Corey's son will probably take over vocals soon. Oh, Jesus. You never know. I mean, because Corey ain't... I mean, hey, man. Hey, Corey ain't that much of a spring chicken no more. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, jeez, dude. That is fucked beyond belief. Slip joke. Damn, bro. So he played a show with them on, on the Friday, and they called him on Sunday saying thanks, but fuck off just, for, just before releasing a statement. Very strange. Yeah, that's really weird. That's really weird. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's Slipknot, dude. It's so many. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. This is going to start. This is going to really start some real bad backlash for Slipknot. This is going to end with a lot of people losing a lot of faith in them. And Slipknot are not going to have anyone but themselves ultimately to blame for this crap. Because, yeah. This is just, this it just really sets a negative precedent for how, like, or for Slipknot's future. It, it really does. And it's like how they conduct themselves. It's like, this is what happens when a band gets too big. It's like, it's good that you want to make your, like, when you get big, you want to go into business, like, and make a band kind of like a business kind of make it legitimate and really earn yourself an extra source of revenue there is nothing wrong with that but when it gets to the point where members are treated as nothing more than fucking employees that's bad that's when the band loses its authenticity that's when the music loses its authenticity that is fucking horrible but anyways man jesus christ dude 22 minutes yeah, 22 minutes I've been ranting on this on this band in the scummy way that they fired Jay. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, seriously, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you even listen to Slipknot or if you do, uh, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. And if you want to see more videos like this where I'm just like some crazy big news just happens and I'm kind of just talking about it. Um, yeah, if you like videos like this and other videos I do on the channel, such as Let's Play videos like I'm doing with SmackDown vs. Raw 2005, playing as the real and original Latino Heat, uh, Eddie Guerrero, as well, um, other videos also like tier list videos, reaction videos, um, like good old fashioned rants, top 10 videos if you're into all that and that sounds good to you you want to be a part of the booty hunter family then feel free to like comment share subscribe and click that notification bell for all notifications so that you never miss an upload from yours truly and with all that being said this has been your boy tw booty hunter giving you guys another banger and i'll see you guys next time thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to. And getting butt hurt like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.